In 1982, Martina Navratilova was the first woman to earn over $1 million in season prize money. Today, there are more than 2,500 players representing 92 nations competing for more than $118 million in prize money at the WTA's 54 events in 33 countries, plus the four Grand Slam tournaments. Obviously, from the very beginning, there was not very much prize money, so it was very difficult for women to make a living. The fight for equal prize money has secured tennis as the only professional sport where women and men compete on an equal footing. Through Billie Jean, um, playing against Bobby Riggs and proving that, hey, you know, women should get equal prize money. Working on equal prize money wasn't something that I had planned on doing, but it was really um, rewarding to be a part of a team that did something significant in tennis. The money has skyrocketed. Kids want to grow up and be millionaires, and a lot of them do it. WTA players make more money than any other female athletes in the world, with seven out of ten topping Forbes' list of highest paid female athletes. Lena was also recently named as one of Time magazine's most influential people, proving that women tennis players have global, commercial and marketable appeal. WTA players are currently raking in sponsorship dollars on par with male athletes and other top sports leagues. With prize money going up, it just opens up so many doors for young female athletes.